Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over our current grocery haul that we picked up from Costco, as well as another local grocery store for some of the smaller things. And we'll show you everything that we picked up for our current keto and carnivore diet. Before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now we did have a special announcement to make and that is we are hosting our first live masterclass of 2024. This is our four step formula to accelerating your weight loss results on carnivore, where we go over the four steps that you need to consider when it comes to your carnivore diet, calculating protein amount, fat amount, fat to protein ratio, as well as some of the top mistakes that people make on carnivore that keep them stalled or stuck with fat loss on carnivore. There is going to be a live Q&A session at the end of the masterclass for those of you guys who want to hang out and chat with us live, ask us any questions and chat to us about your carnivore journey. Registration is on a first come first serve basis. So make sure you register now. I will leave all of the registration links in the description bar below. So we went to Costco as well as a smaller grocery store in town. If you're from Canada, you probably heard of it. It's called Save on Foods, but we always pick up the majority of our meats from Costco just because we buy everything in bulk wholesale. It's just a little bit cheaper that way because we go through so much meat, it's just a smarter choice. Yeah, and I am doing some recipe testing this week. So I did buy some smaller ingredients from Save On Foods, uh, mostly for the recipes because we are trying to put up more content for the blog. Haven't seen our blog yet. Make sure you check it out at justrealfood.com. But I am planning on you know putting out a lot more content in 2024, new recipes, along with recipe videos next year. So if you guys have any suggestions or ideas or things you want to see from me and Kevin when it comes to recipes, then make sure you leave comments down in the description below and um, I will do my best to try to get to all of the requests. So the first thing we picked up, and this is actually related to one of the recipes that Alice is testing, is this eye of round uh, beef roast. I think you're trying to make Italian beef, right? Like yes, this? yes. So it's pretty lean, but I think if you cook it the right way, it should come out quite tender. And uh, this will be one of our tests to see how it turns out. Um, we'll probably match it with some fattier meats though because it is quite lean. Another staple for us that we always pick up, at least one package of, are these round sirloin patties, frozen, the Kirkland brand, just for convenience. These are 85-15 and they're ready in about 15 minutes in the air fryer, so quick protein and fat source. We've really been liking this ground bison that they have at Costco lately. This is ground bison, the brand is Noble. It's different everywhere, but um, yeah, it comes in these individual one pound packages and we'll treat it basically like ground beef, but we just use it as a different flavor. Another staple for us is the 24 pack of Costco organic eggs. We pick one of these up at least every time, at least one. Um, so we got some of this steelhead trout, just changing things up. We do eat a lot of salmon, but this was a good deal. And sometimes I like to have trout um, just to change up the flavors. I will probably just bake this in the oven and keep it super simple, like carnivore style. Here are Argentine shrimp. I've never tried these before. Usually when I buy shrimp, it's like um, frozen tiger prawns. So I'm excited to try these. I don't know what's different about them compared to regular shrimp. I'm gonna test them out today and just, I don't know, cook some on the stove top and maybe look up some recipes and see how I can make these. And if I come up with something cool, maybe I'll do a recipe on the channel about it. They're five bucks off. Yeah. So it's a good deal and they were they're wild shrimp too. I like shrimp because it's very lean, which is good for us. We like to pair out fatty meats with leaner meats. That's what we teach all of our clients to do as well. So shrimp is always a good thing to have on hand. And you know, it's just an easy thing to freeze, keep in the freezer, um, store in bulk, and then just like kind of pull out as you need them. And it's an easy way to increase your protein. Yes, it's a very easy way to increase your protein if you're trying to get your protein up because it's very, it's just pure protein. Yeah, it's, very it's easy to eat too. Yeah, uh, the next thing we got is the sockeye salmon. You guys have probably seen us buy this before. This is one of our favorites. Uh, this is smoked salmon. It's very clean. Um, it says brown sugar in the ingredients, but the carb count is zero. So I'm not sure what they use the sugar for. It's just a little bit for curing. If you guys look for a smoked salmon, just make sure you find one that's not like candied because a lot of smoked salmon like the like candy smoked salmon nuggets, just like stuff like that you just want to avoid. But most of you guys doing carnivore already are pretty sophisticated when it comes to reading ingredient labels. So I think you guys know uh, not to go for those. Also on sale, just a pack of wild coho salmon. These are like the individually portioned packs. I think this is about, um, They're about six, six or seven ounces each. Yeah. yeah, so this is really great. You guys see these in our what I eat in a day videos a lot. We just throw these straight into the air fryer, you know, 15, 20 minutes and lunch is ready. This is just, I mean, the easiest way to get in fish without having to like, you know, go through the whole process of like smell and, you know, the cleaning and everything. So this is very easy and very accessible pretty much for everybody. We haven't tried this brand before. We normally get the Kirkland brand. 
but so this is a new one for us. I've seen Anita eat this one before quite a bit. I also got a pack of boneless skinless thighs. This one I got from Save On Foods because I don't need a gigantic pack right now. I was going to make a, a tandoori chicken video. I do have to look for some spices online. On top of that, I may also try a lemongrass chicken recipe. You know, I love lemongrass chicken. We used to eat a lot of Vietnamese food. There's a lot of Vietnamese food in Vancouver. So I really like the flavors. We're gonna try to make a lower carb version of it, you know, without all the, the sugars and, and the soy and stuff like that. I'm gonna test that one out, looking forward to that. Just some other stuff for like recipe testing and other ingredients. I bought a small pack of feta. I got some green olives. Manzanilla, I think. Manzanilla yeah. olives. I already had a couple of these, they're really good. I was testing a um, turkey feta burger recipe. Um, I think I am going to make that turkey burger video into a recipe video for the channel, so stay tuned for that. Um, I also got an onion, some ginger, a cucumber, and uh, some lemon. So those turkey burgers are kind of Mediterranean, Greek inspired, so yeah, you can kind of see the the feta and the, the tzatziki ingredients that are kind of come up coming up here. So that's everything we bought from Costco and the other grocery store this time. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration on what you can pick up for your current carnivore or keto diet. We have a lot of stuff already in our freezer. Mainly it's fatty steaks and ground beef and some other fattier cuts of beef. So we kind of picked up some different stuff this time. Um, mainly a lot of it's for recipe testing. We'll kind of rotate this into our regular schedule and we'll make sure to eat all this food. Yeah, our primary source of nutrition hasn't always been ruminant animals of beef, beef and lamb, but we like to add some other stuff in there to keep it interesting, to add some variety, so you're not just eating like one thing, one or two things. Because I know that can be hard for some people to do it for prolonged periods, long term, right? If you're just doing carnivore for 30 days, then it probably is okay to just stick with beef for you. But you know, people who do it longer term, yeah, everyone's different. different yeah, everyone is different too. Um, but we have a lot of steak because we bought a strip loin a couple weeks ago, and Kevin, you know, did his whole thing where he divvied it up into like beautiful little one pound portions. Um, that's his thing. I don't, I don't uh, partake in that process. <laughs> and we still have a couple of those, and we have a lot of ground beef too because we just buy ground beef. Uh, we have a lot of lamb chops as well. Down there. For those of you guys doing carnivore, like, and we see this a lot with our clients. You guys probably have like freezers full of just a lot of meat <laughs> and stuff. Some of you guys have shown me some really unique stuff. I've seen moose. I've seen a lot of like game meats which are interesting. Mostly game meats are the ones that- Game meats are the ones that are- I want to try the most. Yeah. We don't have them unless we find a hunter friend or we find a spe uh, specialty store. There's yeah. a couple smaller butchers that have it. So when we have a chance, we try and find some venison or something. So, but it's not a regular occurrence. So stay tuned to our channel for these upcoming recipes and let us know in the comments below what you're currently eating for your carnivore diet. We have a lot of exciting things coming up for 2024 for the channel, a lot of plans. Yeah, including the masterclass. But also things that, um, we know we're not gonna say on camera yet, but just things that we have upcoming down the pipeline. And if you're watching this in December, just wanna say happy holidays to everyone. Have a safe and happy holidays and we will see you in the new year. Thank you so much for supporting us this year with the channel, you know, taken off a lot faster and and better than we thought. We put a lot of hard work and effort into our videos, obviously, but you know, without your guys' support and love and just like all the kind comments you guys leave us, emails that we get from everybody, it's, I'm very grateful. Really, really we appreciate it. We are super, it. super grateful to be where we are today and to be able to like make videos like this for you guys. Um, I remember one of our first earlier videos that like did well was a Costco haul. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. We filmed it on our, on our uh, dinner table. It's still our favorite type of video to make because yeah. we like going grocery shopping. So. We love grocery shopping, yeah. guys. If you guys didn't know, we love grocery shopping. Until next time.